Hi there, uh, my name is John Ronan, and I want to tell you a couple of background facts about this exciting annual contest that we have in the library called Poetry Without Paper. Uh, I was chosen to say a couple words because I was one of the instigators back in uh, 2003, along with David McArdle and other members of the Lyceum Committee. So now in 2017, I think this makes it the 15th annual Poetry Without Paper competition. Uh, at that time, we didn't know if this would go over well. This is ancient history, you know. This is uh, before Twitter and not too long after Google started. So we had not done anything like this. And we, we were talking about it since 2002 and went into it with a little trepidation. But it was really, really successful. I'm going to look at my notes for just a second. We have had, well, that first year we got over 400 entries, and each of the entries, each of the people who entered, uh, submitted two or three poems. So there were hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of poems. And we had a wonderful time judging them and looking at them because they were on all topics uh, from all ages. There were grade school kids, middle uh, school kids, and uh, high school students, and they wrote about flowers and they wrote about sunsets and some of that was wonderful but it was remarkable the maturity of many of the poems at all levels because they were about money problems they were about love and anxiety they were about divorce they were about changing jobs kids hear kids see really carefully and these poems were very very powerful we had a tremendous uh, time reading them and a difficult time choosing who might win and who who did win, but it was a success. That was the bottom line. So we decided to continue it. Not only because the uh, contest itself was successful, but because, and I want to plug this, because poetry is important. Uh, as James Dickey, the famous Georgian poet who read at the Carter um, inaugural ball, not during the day, but at the inaugural ball later that night, uh, has written uh, poetry is just natural, naturally the greatest darn thing that ever was in the whole universe. That's James Dickey. And I say I, I have to agree. Uh, it uh, involves writing, the use of words, of course, observation, analysis, ordering and planning, uh, prioritizing, all of the elements that we kind of sum up by saying that's thinking. If you think well, you can write poetry. Now, we're not talking about Nobel laureate poetry uh, uh, or Nobel Prize poetry, but good, solid uh, poetry. Uh, I'm going to give you an example of a poem that's inspired me as a child, as an adult, because it speaks to the wonderful fluidity and, and plasticity of words and poetry. This is a children's poem, so-called, but it's a little deeper than that because of those reasons I just cited. You'll recognize this poem. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such fun, and the dish ran away with the spoon. I did an essay recently for poetry in Massachusetts, and I mentioned this in it, even though the essay was about being an adult and being a, being a poet. It, it doesn't get much better than that, let me tell you, it really doesn't. The proof that uh, our uh, poetry contest, Poetry Without Paper, has been successful is that it's one of the best attended events at the library every year, and it's easily one of the most emotionally moving. Families attend, their children read, and there's more than a couple of tears in the audience every year. So we plan on continuing that, especially this year, and I hope with this little introduction to our background and to our motivation, you can urge your children, your nieces, nephews, younger friends, anybody who's in school in Gloucester to enter the contest. This year, for the first time, Beside the text, entries may accompany, may be accompanied by uh, music or video, film. 
You don't have to have the film, you don't have to have the music, but it's certainly there. You can enter the whole combination, multi-mix multi, uh, uh, with the text of, of the poetry. So it's, uh, it's more exciting than it's been. You can win money, and you can be at my TV show later in the fall. So watch for the uh, page on the Sawyer Free Library website and enter as soon as you can. Thanks for your patience. Bye-bye.